Welcome to Thought for December the 14th. Our readings today are taken from Job chapter 16 and 17, Habakkuk chapter 3, and 2 Peter chapters 1 and 2. And our thought is, if these qualities are yours. Ah, that little word if again. Our quotation above is from today's reading in 2 Peter chapters 1 and 2. This is Peter's final message as he realises he is soon to die. He sees much evil growing and false believers coming to the fore who promise them freedom, but they themselves are slaves of corruption. For whatever overcomes a person, to that he is enslaved. For if, after they have escaped the defilements of the world through the knowledge of our Lord and Saviour Jesus, they are in, again entangled in them and overcome. The last state has become worse for them than the first. Chapter 2, verses 19 and 20. What is the false promise of freedom? Well, a glaring example today is the slogan in some churches, once saved, always saved. This is unbiblical. And this interpretation astonishes those who know their Bibles. Can it be that after you are initially saved, and in the first century this meant you showed this by being baptised into water, was it then that grace covered all your future sins regardless? A remarkable kind of freedom. Now take careful notice of Peter's powerful words in this chapter. He tells his readers that he and they have been granted all things that pertain to life, and having escaped the corruption that is in the world because of sinful desire, therefore make every effort to supplement your faith with virtue, and virtue with knowledge, and knowledge with self-control, and self-control with steadfastness, and steadfastness with godliness, and godliness with brotherly affection, and brotherly affection with love. If these qualities are yours and are increasing, they keep you from being ineffective and unfruitful. Chapter 1, verses 3 through to 8. It is helpful to look at other versions to get the fullest meaning behind some of these qualities. Some Greek words cannot be effectively translated by one English word. For instance, the word virtue has been rendered as integrity, and knowledge can be the act of knowing in the sense of having a relationship, as we will see in Job shortly. Finally, verse 10. Therefore, brothers and sisters, be all the more diligent to make your calling and election sure. For if you practice these qualities, you will never fail. Let us make real progress in making sure we never fail. Well, thank you once again for joining us for Thought for the Day, where together we can open up the pages of God's Word, remembering that they are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path.